Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Appreciate the support. If you're new, this is the Maritimer channel where we do mostly things outdoors. Uh, ATV trips, camping trips, maintenance stuff. And uh, if you stick along for the video, you'll be able to see a view like this. And like this. So yeah, if you're into views like that and ATV trips and camping, then definitely stick along. Hit the subscribe, the like, everything, you know, the bell notification. I really appreciate the support. And uh, I'll shut up and we'll get to the video. All right. Back on another trip. Taking off here from uh, Adair's Wilderness Lodge. Got my boy Wendell with me. There's just a few people here. Uh, if you guys ever want to come here, you know, there's cabins to rent right here and there's gas if you guys want to ever get gas. And the trail system's all right here, so. We're gonna be getting on and taking off onto the 3402 trail. That's actually up here. And we're gonna head out to Friar's Nose, it's called. It's a big look off. There's actually quite a few nice look offs here in, uh, Sussex like you can see them on the drive in here to Adairs all the time. So this is a 3402 trail Oh chipmunk going Wendell didn't even see him But uh, yeah, we're heading out to the Friars nose uh, I want to go there. I thought about going there and camping, but uh, It's a uh, Not a super hard spot to get to so you might run into people although today's a Tuesday So it shouldn't be too bad. I'm on vacation. Woohoo! It's great to be on vacation, so we're gonna go for a trip. So yeah, it's a beautiful morning here. It's about 10:15 uh, in the morning. Uh, getting a little cooler now. You can definitely tell falls in the air. It's only about 16 degrees Celsius, so I'll have to do the conversion on Google to convert to Fahrenheit, but uh, even last night I was out late kind of packing the bike up and stuff, and uh, you could really tell it was really cool at night, so, so we're at the intersection here now. Uh, I was on the 3402. Uh, 3402 goes this way to the left, and the 3404 goes that way. So we're going to stay here on the 3402 trail and I'm pretty sure this is going to turn into like a little bit of like a logging road that the four wheeler trails kind of just take care of. I think it's a sled trail too in the winter. So once again today I'm using the uh, Polaris Ride Command app. It, uh, I've had some people comment and say that it doesn't work very good for them and it always crashed and I haven't had the moments issue with the thing. It works perfect. I set waypoints. I got the GPS turned on so I don't actually have to have a cell signal. And it tells me pretty close to where I am all the time. I love it. And if that doesn't work, or say my phone stops working, I actually have a paper copy. Uh, it's a waterproof paper copy of the Sussex ATV trails, which is pretty cool. They sell them, they're only $5, so spend five bucks, you always have a backup. I was up till almost 12 last night looking at uh, maps, and I went on the Sussex ATV Club Facebook page. I put a little message there asking some information about getting to Friar's Nose and uh, like Sussex has to be one of the best ATV clubs the members are great they're always willing to help and they're always working here like the trails are usually very very good you don't see much garbage or anything so this is actually the road that I came in on I just drove past here with my truck we got a cross and this is a uh, Kind of a gravel road. This is called the McNutt Road. So we're gonna follow this for a bit. I'm 
gonna let Wendell go for a little run here. Let him burn off a little bit of energy. We're still just cruising down the uh, the same road here, the same trail. Just letting Wendell go for a little run. He used the washroom. I know you guys are probably wondering, did he take a poop? He did. But yeah, I like to uh, get him out for a little run like this, uh, especially to start the ride. Just because it burns a little bit of energy off to start. Come here. Come. Good boy. Oh yeah. There you go. Right back in his basket. All right. This is another big, uh, big intersection here. You got the 3401 going left and right, and we're on the 3409. Uh, and this is called the Plastic Palace. <laughs> so we're gonna s stop here. I'll go in and uh, get some video of inside this place. Wendell's got his one tigress uh, harness on. I love it. There you go, boy. Plastic Palace since 1989. This has been here. So this is the Plastic Palace. Lots of writing on the walls. Might stick one of my stickers here on the window. I see. Fundy Trail Riders, Goshen, Adairs, Cumberland, that's uh, that would be where my camp is, part of their snowmobile club. <laughs> it's all kinds of stupid writing on the wall. Kind of cool, the, uh, in memory of Rick March. Somebody knows what happened to Rick, let me know in the comments. Obviously he's not with us if there's an in memory of him, but uh, must have been a good guy if they uh, put an in memory thing up in there. But uh, yeah, so this is just your basic, basic shelter. It's not even any firewood in this one. Actually, there's firewood out here. They keep it outside, that's right. But uh, yeah, it's not a bad spot here. Anyways, we're gonna get packed up and uh, hit the trail. Fresh bear poop, it's all full of blueberries. Just past a bunch of blueberry fields. Doesn't really clear cut. Uh, you know, I, I see something like this, and I don't know if that's a clear cut or maybe Josh Gammon came by and did another YouTube video. You guys know how he likes just to cut down all the trees. This year has all the markings of Josh for sure. I, I just came up to uh really nice look off here surrounded by blueberry fields and right up in that top corner of this one on the other side of the road is another black bear. I'm hoping it's going to show up on the camera up in the top corner of that field there above the road. There's a black bear up there. He's a good sized black bear. There might actually be a uh, beside it. It might be a mother because I think there's a cub beside him too so that's uh, pretty crazy to see. Good to see from a distance, I should say. <laughs> Moving around eating blueberries.
yeah, how do you guys like the drone? Anyways, adds a pretty cool, uh, a pretty cool uh, aspect to the videos. I, I can't wait to go up. Uh, I think Friar Nose is actually just back there on a the trail, so I'm gonna go back there. Windows around, sniffing around, so we're gonna head up to the Friar's Nose now. All right, so we're back, just heading back this way, and I think the trail's gonna be up here on our left-hand side. So before I came this way, I just coming back, and then there's this trail here. Right by there's some white signs. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the trail that takes you out to the trail <laughs> that goes to Friar's Nose. So I followed that trail around to the white arrows again. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be the trail. Gets us into Friar's Nose. I feel like it's gonna be. Um, some more bear poop here. That stuff's a little dry, so it's probably been there for a little while, but uh, kind of glad I didn't pick this spot to go camping. <laughs> All right, so. Pretty steep hill here. Not gonna show up on the GoPro, of course. Sorry if I'm breathing heavy, but uh, it's a steep hill to walk back up. <laughs> Had to set the camera down. Spot you guys could park and either walk up or I just flicked her in four-wheel drive just to be safe. Wow, this is crazy steep. Uh, if you guys don't feel comfortable going up that, definitely park down where I said. But if you want to drive all the way up, You'll get a view like this. Wow. Just get a look at this. Gorgeous. Alright guys, made it to Friar's Nose. What a beautiful spot. Hey Wendell, hey, get away from that edge buddy. <laughs> Anyways, take a look at this. Just a beautiful view. So glad I, uh, so glad I came up here. Hey, please get away from there, buddy. She's a steep one down that side. Hey, come. Hey, come on up here. Good boy. Uh, anyways, what a gorgeous view. Get close to the edge, that way you guys can see I'm not full of crap. <laughs> uh, so she goes, she drops right off. But yeah, she's pretty high. Uh, gorgeous views of everything here. Windmills over there. Too bad to see all the clear cutting going on, but uh, like I said, 
She's starting to grow back a bit. Beautiful. But yeah, that hill coming up, guys, seriously, uh, you're going to want to watch that one if uh, you're not too confident. If you're not too confident, that uh, it's pretty risky, like, with the fl flipping backwards, so... Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll put the drone up and get some video. One last look of a beautiful look off. Definitely have to come up here again sometime. What do you think? You want to get going? I uh, stopped and gave water or some window some water. It's funny, it was so quiet up here. I could hear something crashing through the trees over there. So could have been an animal or a rock falling. So I'm not going to put uh, Wendell in the basket to go down this uh, hill. I'll just get him at the bottom. <laughs> it's peeing on everything. Anyways, all right, sorry if I'm out of breath again, but uh, just had to walk back up this hill, the joys of making videos. I'm going to four drive low, and I'm kind of just riding my brakes the whole way down. Hopefully on the, uh, the GoPro, it actually kind of shows how steep it is. I know it usually never does, but... I got the other camera to get a different angle. But here you just on a slow and steady type deal, especially if you're not confident. So there's a camera. The hill keeps going down, but uh, that's where I stopped taking video. There's a squirrel right here. I don't think Wendell sees him. Nah, I ran right past him. So this trail here must just lead you right back down to that road where I seen the camp. Maybe this will tire wind a load a bit, these hills. This is a, you guys can probably see how steep this is. I'm gonna give her a little juice going up this. Four wheel drive, so it doesn't tear the track up too much. If you're in two-wheel drive, you're going to spin the whole way and then you're going to end up rutting it all to heck, so... That would be my tip, is put her in four-wheel drive and you'll save the trail. Wendell's right behind me. It's crazy because how high we were back there at the look-off. And we've just been going up the hill here this whole time. But uh, we'll stop and get Wendell here. Come here. Good boy. Now you're panting. Oh, 
Oh, there you go. Don't you pee. All right. We've gone 21 kilometers so far. We got a, it's almost one o'clock. We still got to get down to our campsite. So uh, this is the exact opposite direction of where I want to camp. So what I'm probably going to do is uh, try and make up some time here soon. But uh, I'm probably going to bomb back towards Adair's and um, grab some gas if I can, just so I know I'm full. But if not, I know I'll have enough. And then we're going to uh, head down to Martin Head and do a camp camp out there on the island. I know I've camped there before, but uh, it's just such a beautiful spot. I want all right, so we just stopped here at Adair's and we filled up on gas. I put $7 gas in it. It's expensive a liter here, but I mean, there's no results to get gas, so you gotta pay what you want. It's $1.50 a liter. But uh, I have no problem paying that, supporting this place. It's great. Uh, yeah, the truck's still there, that's good. We're gonna. Uh, Head down towards Martin Head and get our camping spot, I think, now. All right, we're here at the Y for the low tide trail here to the left and the high tri tide trail here to the right. Uh, they're both super nice trails. The high tide's a little bit more technical, but uh, if you're not sure of the tide, which I never am, I never check it, so I always just usually just take the high tide trail down, and then if I can, I'll take the low tide trail back. Yeah, sure. Oh, that's pretty funny. I uh, was talking about how nice this trail is now. Someone's been fixing it up, and I always just figured it was the club. But I uh, just stopped and talked to that guy. Super nice guy, Real. He, uh, he's been fixing this trail up for years and years now. Like, he told me it's not really maintained by the club. This is all Irving land, but he just comes out here once or twice a week and he's got a side by side and a little pick and he can bring uh told me 11 uh 11 buckets of gravel and stuff in the back of it if he opens the tailgate it's pretty cool i mean super nice guy just comes out here and talk about a pretty he's retired so he says it gets him out of the house which he likes He's got a Can-Am Commander there. It's only a couple of years old and he has almost 13,000 kilometers on it. camping spot if I didn't know this was here I passed by it numerous times but uh, looks like uh, definitely some people camping here <laughs> and all the buoys in the trees got a little spot to work 
picnic table, a bunch of lobster traps and buckets. Don't know what this is. Some sort of hippie artwork maybe. Yeah, really neat spot. Let's see what kind of view we have over here. I see this little walking trail and a, even a sitting log. You wanna come here and ponder your thoughts. That wind's not too, too terrible. Beauty. Right on. Gonna look around a little bit more and then we're gonna head out towards the island. All right, once you get down onto the beach, or you're not really supposed to go down on the sand, so if you're gonna be here, to stay on these rocks. Uh, that there is the low tide trail, and you can see the tide's out, so you can definitely take that trail. Doesn't look to be anybody over there on the beach. You guys remember from the last time I camped here at Martin Head, I had a lobster dinner here. You guys should definitely check out that video. That was a good one. The weather was great too. It's a little windy today. I'm hoping I can still get the drone out. Right on. There's a little sign here now. Uh, 1880 grave site. So I never knew there was a grave site. I heard there was. I seen the two uh, foundations. There was a church and a house. Or sorry, not a church. There's a lighthouse and a house out here on the island. All right. We're here. Somebody was great. Look at this. Somebody cut out some seeds. There's some dry wood there. Great. It's nice to see people taking care of stuff. All right. Mater. Pumped. Of course, I brought Wendell over here to the edge just so he, he doesn't like heights, so I bring him close. Not close. I don't hang him over anything crazy, but uh, I brought him over, uh, showed him the edge. He didn't like that. Give you guys an idea. I don't know exactly how far it is down, but uh, I don't know. I'll zoom in. Uh, looks to be an ocean duck there. Uh, oh yeah, there he is. So that'll give you some perspective of how how high this is. Maybe she's a long way down. The water right now is a beautiful blue. Like kind of like an aqua blue color. Really nice. The tide's out, of course. Wendell sniffing. Got a fire pit's not bad. Like, check it out. Remember the last time I was here? How much mess there was? Not much. I'm gonna probably set my tent up over there. All right, the tent today I have is uh, my, my favorite tent. <laughs> MSR Hubba Hubba NX2. Love this tent. Great, uh, great small tent for uh, one maybe two people but one person for sure is it fits perfect so just need to set it up aren't you a good little sponsored dog okay one tiger's vest and your one tiger's little dog mat somebody's tired all right we got uh somebody's supper what all right come on all right okay get it Good boy. Good boy, Wendell. You worked hard today. You're probably starved. Got my little chair set up. Everyone asked me about this chair. Uh, it's basically just a Amazon knockoff. Who makes it is Sportnir. And it's a knockoff of, a, of an expensive chair that looks identical to it. <laughs> now, I looked them up online. The price was not more than I wanted to pay for an old camping chair. So I got that one, I think it was like 60 bucks. It's all aluminum, it comes, it folds up small. Not a bad buy, I'll tell you that now. Well, I just had a nice couple stop in and see me. And Wendell, he was being all weird. <laughs> okay, go get it. Come on. Uh, stopped in, super nice people up uh, down camping for uh, till Thursday, they got there on Sunday, I think. So, four or five days of camping on the beach, pretty nice. 
they're down from St. John, very nice people. So, anyways, we're gonna get the fire started and uh, get some coals and then get that steak on. I'm starving. Well, we're just uh, waiting for the old fire to die down. Had another beer here. This is uh, Tire Shack, the Specialist Blonde Ale. This is brewed right in Moncton, right where I'm from. So, well, where I live, I should say. It's pretty good. Check out that, boys. Costco ribeye with the bone in, of course. Anyways, we're on beer three. This is uh, Oak Creek Brewing Company, Route 117 India Pale Ale. And this is a DF New Brunswick beer, and it's actually really good. All right, we are done. The steak is beautiful. I'm just gonna let it rest there for a bit. I got a few red onions cut up. Uh, got my uh, knife that my brother gave me. I love that knife. Grauman. It's the D.H. Russell. Love that knife. But uh, yeah, should be good steak. Can't wait. What do you think, Wendell? You probably want a piece, do you? Uh, don't look ashamed now. Big shout out to my dad. Bought me this little uh, cutting board. Seeing the little cheap ones I had. This steak looks absolutely delicious. God, I hope you guys can see that. Steak. Hmm. What do you think, Wendell? Good? That's just a Costco bone-in ribeye. I really wanted one of those uh, tomahawk steaks, but they didn't have any. I couldn't find any. Best steak ever. Hey, boy. Easy. Good boy. Is it good? I think he liked it. All right. I'm going to finish the steak. Keep the fire going. I'll get back with you guys in a bit. Check this out. Walk right on on the ledge. Alright, I've shown this uh, my last camping trip here. This is an old foundation. Super thick. That's got to be two feet. And you can see the old beach rock. They would have mixed it with the cement. Pretty cool. This probably was the lighthouse, I'm guessing. See a straight line? Uh, that was probably the house. Or vice versa, I'm not sure, but there's an old house foundation there. Well, I just went for a walk down the trail here. Found a couple. Someone buried their dog. I don't know if that has any relevance with the island or not. But uh, this is a grave site from 1880. And uh, David Houston, I think. It's split in the middle here. So I can't really tell. Wendell, walking on someone's grave, buddy. But yeah, they got a nice white cross here. And uh, I'm going to try and read what it says here. Well, I wasn't able to make out much, but uh, it said uh, his age was 27 years old. Couldn't imagine what would have happened yet, 27, but 1880 could have been anything. Could have been the flu and uh, could have taken you out, but uh, beautiful spot to be buried. I hope I get buried or uh, cremated and buried somewhere like this. Give you guys a peek. How nice is that?
drone around a bit. Uh, hopefully the video came out pretty good. I'm not the best at flying it yet, so give me a break there. But uh, uh, now I'm drinking a Nine Locks Frig Off. I hope you guys are having a good, uh, good summer so far. I hope you guys got to get out with your family or friends. Well, guys, it's getting pretty late. Not much going on. Just hanging up here by the fire. See you guys in the morning. As always, the first thing we got to get doing is uh, we've got to get a coffee. Still rocking the instant. Although I did see a good idea, and I made the joke yesterday about uh, my buddy Josh Gammon and the uh, clear cut. That's just an inside joke that we have with a few other guys about cutting down green trees. He, he doesn't cut down green trees, but he had a good idea the other day. He took a regular coffee grounds in a coffee uh, filter and then put the coffee grounds in and just tied it at the top so it's almost like a little tea bag. Just put that in there. So I just want to say, Josh, that's a good idea and I'm probably going to try that next time. When I don't scald my face off, we all know it's going to happen. It happens every time. Oh yeah, it's hot. Whew, it's hot. Easy. Good boy. All right, letting everything get warm back up here. I was sitting here doing a taste test and didn't even press record. The one the guy cooked on lime looked a lot better than mine. <clears throat> Catch up with you guys in a bit. trace as always the bike loaded up fire pits completely out I didn't have any fire and it was all out from last night anyway but, uh, anyways we're gonna hit the trail there now and uh, might go see uh, Wallace Falls all right we're off so I was thinking about that uh, that grave site over there and you could go back and just like imagine being able to talk to that guy and just see what it was like he sees you now and you're flying around a remote controlled drone and you got a camera on your face and driving a four-wheeler <laughs> it's crazy to think what happened in that amount of time
I'd say the water's been running here a long time. Look how much it's eroded down. It's almost over my head. Alright, so we're back out of the 3408, which is going this way. And we're meeting up with the 3407, which is the one I came in on. But instead of going back to the truck here to the left, we're going to go right. Alright, here's another one of uh, Sussex's uh, beautiful covered bridges. And this is uh, an old uh, storage container. There's still some water flowing, crystal clear. That's the best thing about uh, the best thing about uh, Sussex up here is the water's so clear because it's so rocky. But uh, the water's not flowing very good, so I don't know if uh, how well the the falls are going to be flowing. Here's a super irresponsible fire. Get a fire right at the base of the tree and burn the tree. I mean, you've got to be a complete moron to do that. Man, never ceases to amaze me how stupid people are. All right, so this is the first set of falls. Right here, the water is crystal clear. So you got this set, and then right over there is the big one. But uh, I gotta walk around to get to it, so I'll show you guys that. Oh my god. Wait till you guys see this. I should definitely come check her out. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. Somebody's tired. He's running around on those rocks and then down by the river he slipped on the black one and slid right in the water. Oh well, give him a little cool off. Back in the truck, the bike's all loaded up, windows here, tired, got a couple waters on the go and uh, it's a hot one there now, so I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, definitely make sure to leave me a comment, uh, give it a thumbs up, uh, of course subscribe, that really helps out my channel. Been growing pretty fast lately after my last camping video, so that's great. I appreciate all the support from the old and new subscribers. Uh, hopefully I can get out for another uh, ATV ride or a camping trip. Anyways, I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>